In this example, I'm going to show you how to configure port security on a switch. And we're going to use one port. We're going to configure FE02 with switch port security so that when you connect a rogue computer to this port of FE02, it'll shut down. Right now, we have a trusted computer hooked up to it, and it's enabled. And these are the addresses right here. And this is the address here for this computer and we're going to configure a management VLAN 227 with this address right here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into your switch and you want to administratively shut down all of the, the access ports including the gigabit ports. So we're going to do that. We're going to do interface range command. We're going to do FA01 through 24 and we're going to say shut. Then we're going to do interface range again, this time for the gigabit um, ports. So we're going to do G, um, GI uh, 1 slash 1 and GI 1 slash 2 and we're going to say shut. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go back and we're going to start configuring um, our interface VLAN for management. So you're going to want to do interface v, oops, VLAN 227 and you're going to do exit and now we're going to configure an IP address for this VLAN. So we're going to do um, interface v, uh, VLAN 227 IP address of 192.168.1.26 and we're going to configure it with a 24 mask. Alright, so and then uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to exit and we'll do uh, we'll configure a default gateway on the switch. So we're going to do IP default. Uh, hold on. And then we can just do, um, you can hit tab and do autocomplete. And we'll do 192.168.1.1 as our IP default gateway. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to configure that fast Ethernet 02 port for uh, switch port security. So we're going to do interface FA02 and we're going to do um, switch port access excuse me, switch port, sorry, mode access and we're going to do uh, give it an access of that VLAN 227 so we're going to do switch port and we're going to do um, access again and we'll do VLAN 227 okay so you can see the VLAN changed to state up and it became active because it's assigned to an interface Okay, now we're going to do the switch port security command. So we're going to do switch port and we're going to do port security. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to, because that enabled it. So we're going to do um, switch port, port security, and we're going to do a maximum of one because we want it to shut down we only want it to know one MAC address which is the MAC address of the trusted computer so next we're going to do the command switch port port security MAC address sticky because we want it to stick to that port and we're going to do it again bring it up again and now what we need to do is we need to go in and we need to look at the at this um, we need to go in and look at the 
if you go that's not the right one we need to go in here and look at our interface and that will tell us our MAC address so we want to copy this MAC address because we're going to use it alright so as you can see the the um, port is not active because I did not activate it so I will activate it after this is done so here we're going to put in we're going to paste in that MAC address so now it's got that MAC address is going to add to its MAC address table and now we want to tell it what to do we're going to tell it to uh, violation means that that's it's going to do something when it violates and there's a few different things that you can tell it to do when it violates you can have it um, do an SN, SNMP trap where it logs but it doesn't shut down um, you can just tell it to shut down and that's that's what we're going to do so we're going to do um, we're going to do switch port port security violation and we're going to tell it to shut down all right so now we're going to exit out of here and we're going to do interface fa02 which i should have done to begin with and we're going to say no shut so that will change to state up so that part is basically all we really have to do to configure that for port security for that for the violation of shutting down so I'm going to exit and we're going to do an end we're going to do a show run because we want to see that that's in there and as you can see right here it has this MAC address which is going to which it adds to the table and I'll show you that it's in the table it should have only that MAC address in the table and all of these other ports are shut down and you can see I did a already did a basic uh, configuration so we're going to do a show MAC and here you can see on VLAN 227 and we've got a MAC address a static one on FA02 port and that's the one that we pasted in so now we're going to close out of here and what we're going to do is we're going to take this off of here we're going to plug it into this rogue computer we'll wait for the interface to come up and I'll try to turn that into it and it should shut down it takes a few seconds for the ports to come up so we'll just wait a few seconds a few more seconds <laughs> as soon as both lights are green there we go we're going to go into the rogue computer here and we're going to try to telnet into that computer so we're going to type telnet 192.168.1.26 which is the management VLAN and it's going to try and if I close this both ports should be red and they are that tells you that it worked because this has a different MAC address than this one does so it's not going to let that go through now if we want to re-enable this port we're going to have to reconnect it to the trusted computer and re-enabling it you have to go in on this port FA02 and you have to tell it to do a shut and a no shut that's really important interface FA02 shut no, oops no shut now it should be green again and it should come up and it takes a few seconds for it to come up you know that it's gonna come up because it's amber 
Okay, now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to Telnet into the management console and it should work. 192.168.1.26 Oops, I didn't spell Telnet right. Goodness gracious. 192.168.1.26 And there we go. And I specified Cisco as the password, enable and class as the secret password, and now I can do a show run, and it should show me my configuration. And here you can see on FA02 we have a switch port access VLAN 227, switch port mode access so the computer can access uh, resources on the network. We configured switch port port security and we configured switch port port security MAC address sticky so it would be a static, uh, it would stick to the uh, MAC address table and we did switch port port security MAC address sticky of this MAC address which we used, we copied off of the computer that we wanted to be the trusted computer. And the rest of it, you can see all the other interfaces are shut down as we want. You always want to shut down interfaces that are not being used, otherwise it's a security risk. So you can see here we've got our, our interface VLAN of 227 with its own address and a default gateway. And we have our basic configuration here. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.